Welcome to Ocean Village Marina, where behind me here is the very first example of a new electric boat that we've been looking forward to seeing for a while. This is the new Optima E10, an all-electric boat. It is, at this stage, still the very first prototype, but it's got some very unusual ideas and very interesting features. Now, the first and most obvious of those is the shape of the hull itself, which you can see is a stabilised mono hull. So you've got a very slender central hull with two even thinner external ones which help stabilize it and then they are effectively tunnels underneath it so if i come over here you can probably get a better idea of that you can see the tunnels either side of this central hull you can see right through the middle of them and the idea of that is to make it very, very efficient. So there's minimal drag. It's a full displacement boat that because it's so slender, it has very little drag and it can in fact do a fast displacement speed of around about 14, 15 knots. But the benefit of having those external rigs as well is that they help stabilize it. So you get the benefits of a very comfortable, stable ride that's also extremely efficient. Now it is, 10 metres long, so around about 33 feet. It is all electric. There is no hybrid drive, no combustion engine on it at all. And that has been designed for that from the start to make it as efficient as possible. And of course, because it's not using a lot of fuel, it does mean, well, not fuel, even battery power, it means you can get a really good range from it. So it's powered by two 63 kilowatt hour Chrysal batteries and a 40 kilowatt motor, uh, which is around about the equivalent of around sort of 53 54 horsepower, and that means that it will cruise very comfortably at around about 10 to 12 knots, is its sort of regular cruising speed. Can go up to 14 15, and obviously also becomes more efficient the slower you go. So, at around about six knots, you should get a cruising range of up to 200 nautical miles, which is really proper distance. You take it up to eight or nine knots and they're hoping for around about 100 miles and obviously flat out more like 50, 60. But the whole point is it's a really comfortable day boat that you can do proper distance in uh, and enjoy the ride underway. Now you can see that even though it is that effectively a trimaran hull, it's not overly wide. Uh, it's around three and a half meters wide. So effectively, it's the kind of same sort of beam as a conventional 33 foot planing boat. So that means you will fit into a berth. There's no issue with having to have a multi-hull effectively. And it does mean you've got a very nice big cockpit. So you can see we've got a sunbed at the back here. The access to the motor and drive is under there. That's actually locked at the moment because it's still very much a prototype and it's not actually using the production rad motor that they are planning to use. At the moment it's a, a shaft drive with a rudder, but there will be a fully steerable stern drive that can turn up to 90 degrees and gives it great maneuverability as well as efficiency. There's a big locker under here. Yep. So you can see there's a really big storage space under here. There is no need for a combustion motor, so the, the electric motor is very small. That all happens behind it, so you've got a really big storage space here where you can see you can fit your blow-up paddle boards or a tender or ropes, fenders, covers, all those kind of things. Really handy to have that. And then moving further forward, we've got a lovely big seating area here. Obviously, there could be a table in the middle of this. There's a lot of work still to do, but you can see the potential. There's lots of seating there, and I think you can see there will be storage under those seats too. Then over on this side, there's going to be a sort of outdoor galley wet bar with a fridge and two ring burner. So all the normal facilities. And then there will be a small cabin under here that is, has not been fitted out yet. So there's really no point in showing you that, but effectively there will be a small a berth in there or a double berth up forward. A, an electric toilet uh, and a little bit of indoor space effectively where you can stow bags or get away from the rain if you need to. Lovely clean helm position here. Traditional wheel, you can see we've got two Raymarine 
uh, chart plotters, effectively multifunction displays, so that can take care of everything. It's currently showing the, the boat from the outside underway. And then over here, these are the, this is the throttle for the RAD electric motor. So all very neat and clean. And then you've got thruster there to help move the bow around when you need to. And then side decks up the side. So you can move up here onto the foredeck. You can see we've got a couple of hatches there getting light down into it and the anchor locker and the anchor up the front. But really traditional open day boat style. You can get a carbon fiber T-top for this. That's the intention. And then back into the cockpit. Now, like I said, it is still a prototype. This is not the production boat that has yet to be worked out where that's going to happen, how it's going to happen, or indeed whether it's this actual size and style of boat or whether they go for something a bit bigger. But the intention is that it will be a full production boat with prices around about £400,000 is the idea. Uh, and a lot of that is obviously taken up by those two big 63 kilowatt hour batteries. It will work on a single battery and of course it would be cheaper, but then you wouldn't get that really strong cruising range. So that is the Optima E10. Very different idea. We've seen electric boats before, but most of them have either been planing sports boats, something smaller but with shorter range, or larger multi-hull style catamarans but this is something in between it's not intended to be particularly quick it's intended to be comfortable with a really good cockpit and a proper cruising range so that is it i hope you've enjoyed it we look forward to seeing how it develops and of course when there is a proper production one we will see you trial it and bring you the full story as soon as possible thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.